the Sunshine Family. Uh, today, episode number one of Daily Life in Costa Rica. I think my lens is a bit dirty, <laughs> but um, this is not early morning, but I have plenty of other stuff to do the rest of the day. And I just wanted to give you an impression of how our lives look like. There's Dirk. Actually, it's um, the midst of the day. This is our property. Uh, we are going to town, to Cobano, to get gas, to get dog food at the butchers, and to get some gallo pintos, that's like the, the, the local breakfast lunch. And I'm gonna show you just some impressions, so you see how our lives look like. Uh, you know, I'm gonna be honest. Oh, where's my helmet? Yeah, yeah, the, the lens is a bit blurry, sorry guys. Next cut, I will... Um, clean it but um, really life expat life life in Costa Rica looks really really I'm climbing up <laughs> this is really dark um, uh, life looks different near Tamarindo it's just a fact look at these dirt roads this is our street there's like three houses here right this is <laughs> there was a, <laughs> a hole there's another hole so yeah, this is just the road that we take uh, going to town. And I um, have my helmet here. I need to wear a helmet, but I, it's fun just to show you this part. This is a huge part of our lives, being on the ADV, the best transportation vehicle that you can have in this area. Oh, don't drive too hard because I have the phone in my head. So, you know, sometimes I drive, sometimes Dirk's driving. Here's a fence of a, one of our neighbors. There is the horse ride ranch back there. Oh, here is where my daughter has horse riding. And this little street leads to the main street leading to Cobano. And Cobano is our town. And it has a, a bank, a grocery store, a butcher. It's really local. It's not touristic at all. you can still hear me with the wind <laughs> uh, so yeah here's another neighbor this is really farming land like I said the, we have cows as neighbors it's really really different so the moment that we get to the main road I'm gonna pause the video and take it from town again because I need to wear my helmet and because it's really important here most accidents here uh, happen on a motorbike and quad, uh, and especially when people do not wear helmets. That's the most important danger that you know you should know. Have a helmet, have a good helmet. So I'm gonna pause the video and I see you in town, okay? This is our most favorite place to eat gallo pinto. Uh, this is just a simple, it's at the bus stop. Oh, we're just meeting a friend. Um, there's Wi Fi here, sometimes I work here. And uh, we're going to eat gallo pinto and take some gallo pinto takeaway for our kids who are home. They're doing some schoolwork. Uh, and then we get some, we go to the butcher to get dog food and perhaps go to the supermarket. Ciao! Uh, and then we go to the supermarket to get some fruits and then I'm going to bring Nick to town to kickboxing so you're coming along with me oh I haven't uh, invited you yet to um, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon if you want to get notified every time I upload a new video that might show you now my helmet is falling 
that might show you oops that might show you um, our day-to-day -day daily Costa Rica life uh, someone asked me this question why do you call yourself an expat and not an immigrant which is actually a really good point what do you think if you move to Costa Rica are you an expat or an immigrant I am just asking you that's a great question right so for now I'm going to um, to uh, have some brunch and uh, talk to you in a little bit at the butchers the menu okay. so here you see our most favorite uh, breakfast and lunch the Gallo Pinto, you see it? Gallo Pinto. So, this is what we usually. What is Gallo Pinto? What is Gallo Pinto? Good what was Gallo Pinto? <laughs> no, seriously, come on. Uh, Gallo Pinto is a local dish. It is rice, it's beans, it's rice and beans, and you can have all this stuff with it, whatever you like. So, we have like huevos fritos, fried eggs. Aguagate is uh, avocado, tonchineta, bacon, or sausito, is uh, sausage, or what else? Uh, the tia is like crema, queso blanco, mm -hmm. many different. So, uh, yeah, this is typical Costa Rican breakfast. It's a breakfast lunch, uh, a breakfast meal. Breakfast meal. Awesome. <laughs> and we're drinking sandia con agua. And this is what it looks like yeah this is Dirk's version and this is my version eating see you in a bit so I'm walking now I just went to the bank to get some cash but it was packed there so I didn't want to film I'm walking now through town Dirk is getting gas we split up uh, I'm walking now, I'm walking now, weird masks, never get used to this, I walk now to the butcher because we order a specific amount of dog meat or meat that we use as dog food and we make our own mix, um, call us crazy but that's what we do and uh, yeah so I'm just gonna I feel a little bit weird. Normally I didn't do this type of videos, like lifestyle day-to-day -day videos, because I don't want to make people feeling shy or whatever. But in general, people are really okay when I hold my video up like this. I no one is really saying, oh, put away that phone. So I think this is a great way to show you day-to-day -day life in our Costa Rica vlog from the sunshine family oh it was just recently uh, independence day here by the way this is the goyo behind me we buy everything here um, for the house like washing machines mattresses dryer uh, kitchen machines that's the goyo and they always give us a special price and it's a really nice guy working there it's like this is so, such a small town life almost everyone knows each other here by name or probably also gossiping about each other but I my Spanish is not that good enough yet so I'm at the butcher hold on oh there's Dirk coming behind me there's Dirk coming I'm standing in front of the butcher you see the guy in the yellow Dirk there he comes there he comes there he comes <laughs> Yo. <laughs> so I'm standing here this is our butcher and even when COVID was at the highest peak the butchers were allowed to be open together with the supermarket so yeah we never missed a week um, there are still a lot of people wearing masks here but also a lot of people who are not wearing masks here it's pretty tranquilo so let me go in
So that's the beauty. So the work happens in the back. Let me show you. Uh, you already got the bag for us, so they know that we are coming with you. And uh, so they have a corazón that's hard and all other types of organs, uh, bone meat and uh, some chicken and um, uh, organ meat. Uh, and that's what we mix home with rice and carrots and that's what we give to our dogs and we have super healthy dogs in general not just working for us and uh, yeah this is our most favorite place this is uh, known as the as the best butcher in town so I'm just rock turning so you can look over my shoulder how this butcher looks like I'm not sure if that is interesting for you but um, yeah I'm going to uh, to pay for my meat Muchas gracias. <laughs> Going to the to the vet here in Kobano to get the flea and tick pills, the monthly uh, pills that we give our dogs. Okay, two dogs, a pill per month against fleas and ticks 35,000 colonnas together that's about 70 bucks seven zero so you know before you're just gonna randomly adopt six dogs here you want to take care of them really well you need this stuff and this is what it costs it's just reality so you know okay we forgot a couple of things <laughs> but we are gladly have a super runny um, supermarket close to our house Voila. <laughs> and uh, so we are gonna get the final stuff uh, and then we're gonna head home pick up our youngest and I'm gonna drive him with the quad to Santa Teresa so let me show you super runny <laughs> Hola. Hola. <laughs> So basically, <clears throat> this is one of the three Super Ronnies we have in Santa Teresa. I think this is the only Super Ronnies in Costa Rica, but I'm actually not sure. Uh, this is the newest one. This is called Super Ronnie 3. It's called Super Ronnie 3. Um, there's two in Santa Teresa, which is way more crowdier, way more people. There, The most tourists are there, and we are living more in local area so and the most people will shop in Kobano but they have stuff here that they don't have in Kobano so but it's a beautiful place to buy lots of things what I always say you know take local brands just to show you the prices to get an idea okay Dirk so what stuff is like really not local which you can see on the price Ah, over here, I think when you go to the cereals and stuff. Um, okay, yeah, let me show you this. Typically, typically. Okay, so here are some example, um, some organic stuff and the prices. So this is colonnas, right? Um, one colonna is in general, uh, one dollar is in general around five something to six 
hundred colonnas. So basically we double the price, that's easier, but it's a little bit less than doubling the price, right? Um, so here you see local granola, which is like a, for a little bag right. but you can also buy the granola this is an import product and this is 5,000 it's almost 6,000 colonnas this is like the example I wanted to give you the example what I wanted to give you about this one is like an import product right depending on your budget of course there's lots of people who do not have to look at the prices but you pay more or less 10 bucks for this and it's not even a big package well it is actually half a kilo right just to show you probably this is also in san jose and tamarindo in the stores and probably you buy less there because we live on a peninsula and all the transport has to go on a ferry to get here, right? So we're like almost on an island. The peninsula, the peninsula de Nicoya, is with three parts uh, surrounded by ocean and one part uh, by land. So that's why stuff in supermarkets is pricier here. But buy local products, um, unless you cannot do it out, right? It's the same with coffee. There is local prices, local coffee this is the one we prefer and you have do we have import here huh. nescafe classico this is like in the netherlands like two bucks right here you pay five thousand well let's say more than ten bucks right for a little pot of nescafe uh, you know like i said leave it up to you cookies uh, this is the local one that we love 1000 this is like two dollars two uh two dollars and what do we have that is export uh import let's see let's see let's see let's see let's see let's see crackers granola bars well i think this is in general this price uh, but here, six dollars. Here, three thousand. This is like six dollars for a package of how many? Six bars. Oh, some things are way higher priced, and some are not. It depends, like I said, on what you need, what you want to pay, your budget. But my best advice when you go shopping is to buy local brands. Unless, oh, for example, if you want to make sushi and stuff, which my daughter loves, yeah, you cannot escape the sushi rice price, right? 6,000 colonnas. I really need to do my nails. This is when you live at the, at the, at the farmer's land, right? I'm always living outside. I do a lot of stuff outside. But I can do my nails and like in two hours they look like this. So, <laughs> okay. Anyway, so that's basically a super running. I'm looking for dirt. Like, what do we have? This little box with stockings, right? Some fruit. This is what we pay 18,300 something colonnas. So, 30 bucks. Yep. 30 bucks for little box of stuff. Okay, so you know, it's really the reason called the most expensive country in North Latin and South America.
Okay, now we're in the car. Two dogs are in the car. Nick is in the car. Because, whoop, because we are going to kickboxing. Right, Nick? So uh, I'm gonna stop filming now. I'll film more downstairs in town. Ciao! And... Oh, there's the ocean! This is the road down. Joey loves to hang out of the window, as you can see. turn the car and we I mean with we the dogs and me gonna go to the beach and I'm going to do a little training for my students online I'm gonna do a live training for 15 minutes for my students uh, in uh, El Carmen that's my favorite beach uh, beach place so yeah I'm gonna take you there you're coming okay heading to El Carmen in the distance you see the ocean Cool. I'm going to park here. It's more space. So. 
Vamos a la playa? You lucky? <laughs> Joey, So here we are. So I need to walk those guys a little bit on the beach. See, it's super high water, and there's a big cloud coming Ooh, from the other side. Look, this is what I love about living here. Ooh. This is where I fell in love with this place. It's so off the grid, off the gridish, right? I don't know another word for it. But uh, you see that cloud. So now it's rainy season, right? But you see, it's super sunny. I actually prefer this season. So, so far you have seen a piece of half of my day, but in general, these activities are in general part of our days, right? For what reason we are going to town, to meet someone, to go to the vet, to go to supermarket in, in Santa Teresa to go kickboxing and, and we combine it with a beach visit um, or a walk over the beach uh, just to empty the mind it works med meditative for me like literally when I'm here don't think about anything and I do a lot of thinking here and, and idea planning and, and business creation and if you're uh, not if you want to know what I do online so I'm officially like an online entrepreneur I do I do lots of stuff online and when people ask me so can I do what you do and what is it actually and go to the first link in the description and and get familiar with affiliate marketing which is my biggest income stream affiliate marketing and if you don't know what it is it's just go to the first link follow it fill out your info get more information there's a training or a webinar waiting for you um, and then yeah learn more about what makes it possible for me to live here off grid in Costa Rica at our mango farm and work online uh, selling different things online but in general other people's products without harassing people or asking my friends and family which is no nonsense because we leverage the internet so again go ahead and watch the first link click the first link oh you see it's getting Water. Come here, Joey. Que pasa? Que pasa? <laughs> yes, I'm coming. On time I was at the beach with the dogs here and now we're here to I'm here to pick up Nick but he's still training look this is getting sad. This is this is where the box school is, the kickbox school. Let me show you. So this is Santa Teresa, and this is just how it looks like. It's a very dirt road, small town with lots of surf spots and beautiful ocean and kickbox school. There's a nail salon and here's a little shop and. Uh, 
gonna wait until he's done and then we hit to the beach to watch some sunset. So we decided to get a drink and go to watch the sunset together. So Nick is holding the dogs. Well, I go grab my mask and go back to Suburani again, but now the one in town and uh, oh, no. go watch some sunset. My phone is almost dead. The battery is almost done. I have my son here. The dogs are already ahead of us because now, <laughs> Hola. now we're going to watch the sunset. Although there's lots of clouds, we're going to watch the ocean. That's like tradition after kickbox. We have some drinks. Nick has a sandia. A sandia, what's the name of your favorite drink, Nick? Arizona. Arizona. And um, we have some chocolate. And uh, yeah, we're going to end the day and then we're going to drive home, have dinner, and I might do an hour of work. Um, and then tomorrow is another day. So, yeah i hope so far that you like my video uh hold on i will get back to you at the ocean but in case my phone died i already said goodbye <laughs> and watch my number one episode of daily life in costa rica uh, the sunshine family two growing up kids two dogs living at the peninsula the nicoya and i am enjoying making these videos because it's my mission to help those who are looking for ways um, to move to Costa Rica to help them by working remotely and online and of course showing them how our life look like so this is where we are right now subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet of course it will help you when you hit the bell icon to never miss any updates that might help you learn more things about Costa Rica Woo! Joey Nikki <laughs> By the way, Nikki wants to be a YouTuber, so stay tuned. Look how wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. This is what we do where, when we live where we live, to preferably end the day at my most favorite place. There's actually a little sunset here. Where do you want to sit, Nick? Here? Okay. <laughs> Hola! We can sit over there. You want to sit over there? Some friends are there. 